super excited to have all four kids on one bike. I'm going to go through the details of how, you know, I created this monstrosity and how it works and all the little accessories. So yeah, this journey to doing this really began, you know, kind of last year when we went on our 100 mile bike packing trip over three days. And we had three kids at the time, my wife was pregnant. Um, and you know, we had such a good time. But I was like, how am I going to do this again? You know, once we have our newborn, how are we going to continue to have these awesome some adventures and get out there and so you know we did this with regular bikes and you know i was thinking we have to incorporate a trailer i really dislike trailers but i knew that i had to use an e-bike um or you know that was the most practical way especially for my wife i was like if she has an e-bike she'll have a good time and she'll really enjoy it and yeah she loves that e-bike so we got the rad wagon four here it is pictured it's a really nice e-bike i actually bought it off facebook marketplace i think they're two thousand dollars right now brand new without the accessories but i started buying accessories here's the caboose and i bought seat pads that go right in the back and you can see all three kids all three of my older kids my seven-year-old five-year-old and two year old can all fit it's a little tight actually they're making it look tighter than it is it's not so bad um but yeah they can fit and they had a good time we would just uh, ride around but i wanted to make a little more space back there so i ended up getting a, a front mounted seat so this is the Thule yep next max mini uh sits right on the front handlebar it's actually really cool i like it i was trying to see if i could fit my uh burly snuggler in there so i could put my infant in there but yeah, it didn't end up working out. It just wouldn't fit properly. And they recommend, you know, for nine months and older, once they can really hold up their neck and, you know, take all those little bumps in the road and things like that. Anyway, there's my almost six month old just for display purposes. Fits pretty good, but yeah, I wouldn't keep him in there um, to ride yet. But hopefully in three months or so, you know, once he's uh, stronger, his neck's good and strong, I'm gonna have him up there and then have the three kids in the back and just be able to go uh, without any trailer or anything. But yeah, uh, it's pretty easy to get in and out of. I really like it. And I really like this feature where, you know, with one hand, you can just take it off and then you have nothing in your way. I used to have a Wii ride and it was not nearly this simple. You know, I could do that with one hand while holding a baby. Probably shouldn't be doing that, but that's what I did. And, you know, it just snaps on just as easily. And all that's there, you know, that's really unobtrusive. It won't affect you. It just goes right on the stem of the uh, handlebars. And yeah, you're good to go. You just push down and clicks into place and you could just yeah pop it off, pop it on as you need it. So I really like that feature about it. We used to have the Wii Ride and that just kind of bolts in place and it's, yeah, you never really wanna mess with it too much. This uses two bolts and you're, you're good to go. It's a really quick install. And I like that, you know, it moves with the handle, um, which is, yeah, I think it's a, I, I, I take it as a pro. I like that feature about it. Yeah, so to put your child in, you just put them in and then there's just two straps that go over their, um, over their shoulders. I did have to take, this does have like a little places to put your feet, but I had to take those off because it hit my front basket. And you know, my daughter, she can just put her feet right on the front basket while she's riding. So I just, you know, it is something that I had to modify. It's not really modifying. I just didn't uh, screw it on. So yeah, they just latch on and it's pretty good. I really like it. It's a simple, very secure system and really holds them, holds them good on there. Yeah, we've been having so much fun with this rad wagon. Here's an aerial view. I was practicing my drone photography. My brother-in-law is taking uh, the two boys in the back. And yeah, you just have a... Man, it's... <laughs> I was hesitating on the e-bike for a long time. You know, I thought it would just make me lazy and I wouldn't get good exercise. But honestly, it's such a joy. Anyway, next stage of my plan was to get a trailer so my infant can ride with us. Here I have... I'm just trying it out on my regular bike. And I put him in the car seat just to try it out. But I didn't love the car seat seats so much uh just really heavy and cumbersome so that's why i got that snuggler which i'll show in a second but first i want to show you how to just how simple it is to attach the burly b trailer so basically you take off the axle nut and you put on the little uh, burly b trailer attachment doohickey and then you just put the axle nut back on it's very simple and then yeah once you have that attachment you can just uh, clip on the burly b it's uh yeah it's really it's really nice and uh it seemed to work well without any modifications to the wad wagon okay so here is the burly b and i'm putting the snuggler attachment which is so overpriced you know i ended up buying it on ebay uh for a little cheaper but i think brand new it's like 80 bucks or something for this piece of fabric it does work well and i'm glad i bought it um like a ton better than the car seat 
uh, here, you know, I'm just showing you how you just put the straps in. It's pretty simple. Um, my bump baby was, it was late, so they're a little grumpy. You could fit still two side by side, but um, yeah, so there we are. Uh, th all four of us, three in the back and then one in the, the trailer. And yeah, we were good to go. So what's good about the Burley B is it kind of keeps the, the baby's neck um, stable. Like it, it just keeps their head in place, kind of like a regular car seat does. Um, so yeah, I like it. And it's been serving us well and we've been having a good time. Um, there's my wife, you know, so my wife went on that 100, back, 100 mile bike packing journey. And at the end of it, she's like, never again. And, but now, you know, and having this electric e-bike, I think it makes it so much more possible and so much more enjoyable, you know, especially for her. We're about to go on another bike packing trip, this journey. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, here's my little baby. Uh, I think in, in this photo, he was like five months old. But yeah, you can see how it really uh, straps him down and really supports his neck and just, yeah, just snuggles him up. Uh, it's very adjustable too, depending on the size of the infant. So I like it. I like the setup. I like the Burley B trailer too. It rolls real smooth. I also picked that up off Marketplace, but um, yeah, I think on Amazon it's brand new. It's like 300 bucks. I'll, again, I'll have links, links in the show description. So yeah. Anyway, there's our final setup. Front seat, back caboose. Um, here's my wife struggling because <laughs> it does get so heavy. You know, my kids are like 50, 30, and then 20 and 15 pounds so you're probably talking about like 100 pounds worth of kids so the bike gets heavy especially when they're all on there so yeah you got it takes some some um experience to get used to that kind of load but uh yeah now now we're very used to it and you know we don't have any worries about falling over or anything like that but i would take that slow when she was just starting to get used to it because yeah this setup is definitely um definitely a lot but what's cool is you know we're showing four kids here but uh you know we have potential to fit two more fit six kids you know one next to my infant child in the trailer and then an additional in between my uh my two boys in the back there so yeah this could be a, a minivan rad wagon for six kids and uh yeah that could be a lot of fun so yeah definitely room to grow if you needed it but yeah, no, it's it rides really well, rides smoothly. I was a little worried that the Burley B trailer wouldn't work with those side runners where my kids' feet are are on the back. But no, it, it clears it very well. No modifications needed, and and just rolls. So yeah, definitely, definitely very happy. And you know, I'm I'm excited for our bike packing trip coming up this uh, this weekend, and just excited to still be able to go out there with an infant I with four kids. Just uh, yeah, make your adventures. <laughs> So a little bit more about the rad wagons. Rate to go about 45 miles per charge. And you know, that's dependent on how much you pedal. Um, so yeah, it's five different pedal assist modes. Uh, you know, one being the slowest, five being the fastest. It tops out at about 20 miles per hour by default. You can change around the settings to go 25 miles per hour, uh, but you'll eat the battery pretty quick if you go that uh, fast. And there's a throttle that you can just throttle it without pedaling if you wanted. It, it is a lot of fun. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Uh, keep, you know, subscribe if you want to see our bike packing adventure. I'm sure I'll make a video. You know, leave a comment if you like this setup. And yeah, check out those links if you want to buy some of those accessories. Okay, guys, good luck on your adventures. Godspeed.